Assalamu alaikum guys. Okay, so it's six o'clock in the morning. We're about to go skydiving and we're already late for this place. It's already in Cambridgeshire, but we'll make it inshallah. But uh, I'm here with Only. Also, Ajman was meant to come with us, but unfortunately he had to pull out. We had to leave it at like ideally about 5.30 a.m. and he pulled out at 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. So inshallah. I think at 10 past 4. 10 past 4. So inshallah he's okay. It made it for him because we don't know what's happened. But we have brought a secret weapon with us. A gift. A gift. Alhamdulillah. So, um, maybe Kareem will be able to just jump into the match. Well. Okay, we quickly stopped off for some food because apparently you have to have a big healthy breakfast before skydiving and you have to have lots of sugar. Also, check this. Ah, this is not. There you go. Barakah. Sick. Okay, we got some pecan um, tart things. Okay, so now we're 42 minutes away from the skydive place. We should. We are meant to be 10 minutes away. But. Uh, so, it says here, I have never, in capital letters, dislocated or partially dislocated a shoulder. On the medical form. On the medical form. And finally, <laughs> here's where you... I've dislocated both of my shoulders. Both of my shoulders? <laughs> bro, what if you can't jump, bro? <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to jump. All of those pumpkins. And look at this pumpkin right here. We're here, and we? now we don't Where's know. Where's the plane? Oh no, we're not here. This is an animal set actually. The only, we genuinely don't know if only can jump now because he's dislocated his both. Okay, so basically what's happened is we've, we've actually come too far out the wrong way and I thought we had and Where we were earlier, that is literally where it was and so now Bro, is my car broken or not? And now uh, I have literally given up <laughs> So now Only's gonna drive I gave up I was like bro, Only you just have to take the wheel bro So somehow you have to do a three point turn and not fall into that ditch It's all good Okay, so we were meant to get there at 7.30, it's now quarter to 9 and we're still so lost and, uh, but look, there's a plane in the air, so we're going to try and follow that plane because that looks like it's going to have people jumping out of it, it looks like one of those small planes Oh, that looks so scary, look, you can't even see it on the camera, it's so high Okay, so here's a lowdown of what's happening, Only is worried about his double dislocated shoulder so he's going to try and jump, but if, if he's unable to have to. Then they're allowing Kareem to take spot. So I'm definitely jumping with one of these two today, inshallah. <laughs> Let's go declare the shoulder and see what happens. So, I'm Wait. signing now. I say I'm signed and I'm in. So it looks like it's happening. How do you feel? I wasn't nervous, I wasn't anxious, but now I'm really nervous. Um, oh, look. Okay, so this is people falling right now. Wow, that looks amazing. That's one person. Wow, look at that. There's all these parachutes in the air. <laughs> oh, look, look, if the your shoulder colors. goes, if your shoulder goes, the main thing is that your body comes back. Look at this colors. <laughs> so basically, we just got briefed um, about what's happening and what uh, Interpol is raising money for. We'll yeah. talk about that in the car. Now, and it was um, really cool to like hear about uh, more about the course and how kind of um, they work. So obviously what it's doing is, if you guys click the link in the, in, in the bio and then you donate, what you're donating towards is the education of children in, uh, in Gaza, West Bank. And this is something that's really cool because often when I'm like uh, raising money for charity and stuff, uh, you guys always ask about... Um, the don donation policy and you have every right to do so because you're hard on money you want to make sure that you know where the money's going even if it's going towards admin costs and stuff uh, I don't know if you guys are like happy with that but you just want to know where your money's going um, so one really cool thing is that how it works when you donate money is a 100% donation policy uh, if you specify where the money's going so for example this money specifically going for the education fund yeah so 100% of your money other than any funds that obviously GoFundMe will take but 100% of the money that gets received goes towards the education fund now it now you're probably thinking, but why is it not 100% donation charity then? And why doesn't, uh, how do they like uh, fund themselves? So the way they fund themselves is um, if you select, when you donate normally to, to them, if you select most needy. most needy, then if they need funds to help run a charity, they'll grab it from there, or you can donate specifically to the admin costs. Up to 10% only. Uh huh. They grab it from there, but just up to ten percent. Oh, up to ten percent. So the money that if you guys click in the link in the bio, if you guys donate that to the best of my knowledge, 
that money will all go uh, inshallah to the education fund and with that being said we have about two hours uh, till we have to come back to do the jump uh, only is going to do the jump with a dislocated uh, two dislocated shoulders and we are also in the middle of absolutely no we're in like a field bro <laughs> like where are we we're in cambridge we just had our training how was it very brief so very brief is it it's very like you just go for, like for your life for your life being yeah, there's no watch they tell you, it's just like... You know you're going to jump right now, there's no one left. Is it? Yeah, there's 18 people. Really? Well, it wasn't very clear actually, it was it whether you took your legs in? I don't know, he said you can move on. Do either. I think it's what happens after. Does it? Does but it just, he just told you what to do, he just told you what to do if either happens. Okay, so now that we've had our training, we're going to get called up soon. We're like the last people to do skydive today, like one of the last. Uh, but So we decided that before we go up, we're going to pray at Dhuhr and Asr, because uh, we're travellers. But also, uh, because we're going to pray after, but now... Kareem was like, should we just pray now? And then only was like, yeah, I think it's just, maybe it'll cool us down to pray first, and then... You did it too quick. My shoulders have to not feel what tying up there. What I'm saying? No way. Do you have to No way. Have you told them? Yeah, because they don't know it. Is that what's worse like Is it? Are those straps tight on your shoulder? <laughs> oh, you look like a mad scientist. Do you look like? <laughs> I don't know what you look like. <laughs> Bro, these are so uncomfortable. Bruh, let me, let me see. They're really uncomfortable. Yeah. Imagine 100 miles per hour. Bruh. I'm actually nervous. I'm actually nervous. It's, not, it's okay. It's what I'm stressing about is my shoulder. I think it feels really loose. Bro, I like that it looks loose, I think. When I do that. No, that looks loose. Ah, quick, quick. Whenever you see this footage, just remember that you were uh, up in the skies and you were probably shook. <laughs> you were so shook sitting uh, next to the door. Alhamdulillah. Um, okay, I'm very awkward with this. I don't know if I should film it for the guys or for you. Um, but Alhamdulillah, may Allah protect you. May Allah protect you and Anali and may Allah elevate you. Allah show you his uh, majestic power through this jump and may this bring you closer to him uh, yeah Shukran ya Rabbi, shukran, ah, ya
قلبي شكرنا وقدربي شكرنا شكرا يا ربي شكرا هديت قلبي شكرا نورت دربي شكرا شكرا يا رب يا منزل القرآن يا خالق الإنسان يا رب يا رحمن شكرا يا رب شكرا يا رب يا منزل القرآن يا خالق الإنسان يا رب يا رحمن شكرا يا شكرا يا ربي شكرا هديت قلبي شكرا نورت دربي شكرا Okay, so guys, they start, they're starting to drop. They drop from uh, a height that is higher than the clouds. So they start to appear and you are going to see um, some solo jumpers uh, land. And they are quite skillful. So it's going to be nice. And then you're going to see Faisal. <laughs> so we believe Faisal and Anneli are one of these people that are dropping so slow because they actually give you time to enjoy the view I guess so yeah you can see that there's two people in this one I don't know who that is but they're going to start landing one by one and hopefully whoa hopefully we can catch them Who's that? I don't know who that is. Allah <laughs> Akbar. He went straight to the ground. Allah. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah <laughs> 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 We're gonna go see the man of the hour. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you? I'm good, man. Alhamdulillah. Talk to me. You know, he started doing those, started spinning everything. No way. One, one of you was spinning. I don't know who, who that was. No way. Did you puke? <laughs> I was getting sick. I was like, Glenn, we can't do this. I told him. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. Subhanallah. So he stopped. He's like, yeah, man, no worries. <laughs> okay, it's so surreal. Is it nice? It's very, like, it just looks like like you're watching like a screen or something. How does it feel? Looking ugly. Really? Uh, how does it feel? It's fine. It's like, yeah. How was, how was your shoulder though? Absolutely fine. Yeah. Absolutely fine. No, nothing. Hundred, yeah. Absolutely no, nothing. <laughs> Scared me for no reason. Where's Faisal though? Okay, Alhamdulillah, we landed, Alhamdulillah, it was mad, only how did you find it? Extremely surreal. Well, basically, our Ustad Yahya, our Ustad Yahya was basically like so worried about us even before. And actually, I saw him the other day, I saw him yesterday, he was like, I'm making lots of it out for you. He's like, I'm so worried, I'm so worried for you guys. And look, he's been sending us as card. This is like a true teacher, Yahya. Yeah? He was sending us as a card for God. And then Kareem just messaged him to say that we've landed safely. And look what he said. He goes, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. What beautiful person, like, I can't believe we've, like, had the pleasure of knowing someone like that. A very, very special individual. Is he, he's probably going to watch this, right? Maybe. Sure? I love you very, very much. Very much for the circumstances. Okay, let's get in the car and we'll debrief later. Okay, so as you guys can see from that footage, first of all, I look like an absolute plonker in that outfit. Secondly, you're probably thinking, where was Onli's footage? We really, really wanted to film Onli's footage, 
but can't take cameras up there ourselves and the uh, people who organise the um, skydiving only um, allowed for my footage. Also in regards to on Lee's shoulder, like earlier we said he had two dislocated shoulders and then the form said like, was like asking about the shoulders. Basically we, we spoke to the guy and um, the guy basically said, um, he basically insinuated, it's up to you basically. And so because we knew that only shoulders are fine, etc. Like now, um, that's why we went ahead and did the scare My analysis of it, I should just quickly, because I know this has been a long vlog as it is, so I don't want to go in too much. But my analysis of it is that like the moment when you're in the plane and you're just going up in the sky, it's this, it was the scariest thing I've ever been through. Because you're, you, cause you look outside and, and especially me, I was the first one in that plane to jump out of the plane. And so I was just looking at a door and the door got raised while I was like just next to it. And it was the scariest thing. And you think, what did I get myself into? Why am I doing this? It's not worth it. It's literally the scariest, it was the scariest moment ever because you're about to jump out of a plane, Bob. Like the scariest moment of my life. Then the minute you jump out, there's no fear. Like not even like, not even a second after, like the, the, literally the split second you are out of that plane, you're not scared. And the reason is because you now realize that there's nothing you can do. Whereas when you're in the plane, you're still thinking, what, is there a way I can get out? Like, what can I do? Can I, maybe if I told them about, like you try and think of excuses, but once you're out of that plane, there's, oh, there's nothing you can do. So you, you're, you're literally, there's nothing that can happen. Uh, when you jump, it's really enjoyable. Would I do it again? I feel like I've done it now. Uh, I, if I was to do it again, I probably want to do it over like the palm in Dubai because I've seen footage of that kind of stuff. Um, and that's it, really. So um, it was amazing. It was scary. Uh, you guys just saw me look like an idiot, but but the real. The reason we done this whole thing was to raise money um, for the education of children in Par Palestine. As you guys saw earlier in the video, 100% uh, of donations will go to this uh, education fund um, and the link for to donate for that is in the bio, so please do donate. And if you guys wanna know any more information, then I will put some contact details in the bio as well uh, for people you can contact to ask more about the donations. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I shall see you soon. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. <laughs>